Hi, my name is Holly Hanley. Thank you so much for joining me today for my ocean pour attempt. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. I love doing pours and my kids love doing pours. So it's a great little art project and it can be very inexpensive because you can get a lot of the materials at dollar store. Okay. So what happened was we had a table outside and it was, of course, I left the umbrella in it one night and the wind came along and swept the table over and smashed the glass top. So I thought it would be fun just to, to do a really unique top. So I basically just bought a piece of wood, cut it out with a jigsaw to fit the top of the table and I'm gonna do a pour on top. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. Um, and I wanted it to have an ocean theme. So I'm gonna use these colors just cause I thought it would match our decor in our backyard. Um, and of course, it's always nice to think of the ocean when you when you live in Saskatchewan. Um, so to do a pour, you don't need too many materials. Um, there's lots of fun stuff that you can buy at the dollar store that works great. Um, for instance, uh, the table covers. Usually I just put a table cover, cover down first, just a plastic one that's disposable. You can just throw it away after. Um, if you're doing this on a canvas, I recommend just one of those uh, tin trays um, and that'll just catch the excess paint. Okay. Um, to mix the paints, you need um, just some plastic cups, and I usually use popsicle sticks just to mix the paints together. Okay, um, rubber gloves are always handy just because this is project can get messy. Um, and also a lot of paints. Okay, so I'm using a lot of the decor paints. They're, I'm using some dazzling metallics and some of the regular Americana colors, as well as the uh, the fluid acrylics, which work great for pores. So, and we've got. A few little brushes. My plan is to do the pour, let it dry, and then I'm going to do, just sort of float in a few extra little waves and do some speckling on the sand and so on, okay? And I'm also gonna paint on a little extra glitter at the end after it's nice and dry. And I love to use the Galaxy Glitter for that. So it's um, really quite pretty and it comes in Aqua Meteor, which matches perfect with the project, okay? Uh, you're gonna need a palette knife if you have one. Okay, or even Dollar Store carries palette knives as well. A plastic one works just as, as fine. Okay, and a toothbrush for spattering the sand after. So just give it a little bit of a speckled look. Um, for the pouring medium today, I'm actually using the Demco pouring medium. It's my favorite. They, it works really nice because it dries to a gloss finish. Nice, smooth, it's waterproof, permanent. It's, it's wonderful. So, and to mix the pouring medium, um, usually I put in about a cup of pouring medium and then just a, a few drops of the fluid acrylics works great. So just mix that in. And um, usually I let it sit for a few minutes just to get rid of any little air bubbles. And then if you wanna have cells in your pour, which means basically the paint sort of um, separates a little bit and shows the color underneath and kind of like a bubble shape. There's silicone um, oil that you can buy for your treadmill and that works great. You can find it at Canadian Tire and you'll have just put a couple little drops in, give it one little stir and then it's ready to go. And you'll see me stirring in the video here that's coming up. So anyway, here we go and have fun. So as you can see, I'm just mixing those colors with the pouring medium. I've added a little drop, a couple drops of the silicone oil. And instead of doing um, your typical layering pour in the cup, um, I'm actually just pouring the color on the surface and then I'm gonna do a swipe with the palette knife to mesh those colors together. And it'll bring out some a few cells and really give it a unique look. So I've used a dark blue all the way up to light blue. I've got some metallic blue in there even um, and some white. And I've got some, uh, also a metallic gold for the sand, as well as sort of a raw sienna color. Okay, and I'm just gonna manipulate the paint just by moving it around or lifting up the sides. And then I'm gonna add more white to really enhance the sort of wavy look. Okay, and then again, you can use your palette knife to play a little bit. Um, you can also move it around uh, just by lifting up the corners of your canvas or whatever piece that you're working on. Okay, and I'm gonna add a few more colors. So, and you can play as much as you want. Okay, you're gonna let it dry overnight. Um, then you can see, I just sort of enhanced the waves on there just with a few little floats and I did some speckling uh, just with my toothbrush. So, and I, I just love the way it turned out. It's so nice. Okay, and you can also use the pouring medium as a varnish. Again, it's weatherproof, waterproof, um, and it dries to a nice hard crystal clear gloss finish. So, it looks so pretty in our backyard. Thanks for joining me today and subscribe for more videos. I'm Holly Hanley.